This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at cis-trans isomerism. Cis-trans isomerism occurs where there is restricted rotation around a carbon-to-carbon -carbon bond. This can be either restricted rotation around a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond, as we can see in the molecule on the left, or restricted rotation in a cyclic compound, as we can see in the molecule on the right. We'll start by looking at the restricted rotation around a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. For cis-trans isomerism to occur, there must be two different groups on each of the carbon atoms of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. So here we can see two molecules with carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bonds. On the left we have chloroethene, on the right we have 1,2-dichloroethene. The molecule on the left does not have cis-trans isomers. This is because only one of the carbon atoms is bonded to two different groups. The molecule on the right does have cis-trans isomers. As we can see, each carbon atom of the double bond is bonded to two different groups. Next, we look at how to distinguish between cis-trans isomers. So as we saw previously, the pi bond in the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond restricts rotation, forming two different isomers. So here we can see the two isomers of butuene. On the left we have cis-butuene, on the right we have trans-butuene. The cis isomer has the same groups on the same side of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. The trans isomer has the same groups on opposite sides of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. Here we can see 3D representations of the two isomers. The cis isomer on the left has the two CH3 groups on the same side of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. The trans isomer on the right has the two CH3 groups on opposite sides of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. So next we look at cyclic compounds. Cyclic compounds contain a ring structure that restricts rotation. When the molecule contains two or more different substituents attached to the ring, two different isomers are formed. So here we can see the two isomers of 1,3-dichlorocyclobutane. If we look closely, we can see that the cis isomer has the two substituents on the same side of the ring, and the trans isomer has the two substituents on opposite sides of the ring. Next, we look at a couple more examples. So we'll start with molecules that have a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. The molecule on the left has the two substituents on the same side of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. The molecule on the right has the two substituents on opposite sides of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. So on the left we have cis-pent-toene, and on the right we have trans pent -toene. Our last example is a cyclic compound. The molecule on the left has both bromine atoms on the same side of the ring, and the molecule on the right has the bromine atoms on opposite sides of the ring. So on the left we have cis-1,2-dibromocyclobutane, and on the right we have trans-1,2-dibromocyclobutane. So that's all from this video. If you find these videos helpful, you can find all my videos on my website at www.msjchem.com.